Hello, my friends. This is Sylvie Curry, Lady of Q. And once again, I am in my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be boiling water. But this boiling water is going to be used to cook some hard boiled eggs. I saw a recipe on Facebook, which came from noelcarterfoods.com. And I just thought, hey, that's simple and easy. All you do is boil water and voila, you've got hard boiled eggs. There is a simple technique that goes along with it, and we'll be going through that with you as I boil these eggs. These are the ingredients for this. I've got six eggs. These happen to be large eggs in a flat bottom container, pot, Dutch oven, and water. According to the recipe or the procedure for getting perfect hard boiled eggs, you take cool water, pour it over the eggs, and you want to make sure that the water comes up to a level of one inch above the eggs. The next step is to put the eggs in the pot over a high heat and cook until it starts to go into a rolling boil. When it reaches that rolling boil, then we start counting approximately three minutes and then we turn off the heat. We take our eggs, which are in the cool water, and we start cooking them here on the stove. We don't add them after water starts boiling, anything like that. You use cool water, put in your eggs, make sure they're covered by that one inch, and wait for the water to come to a rolling boil. Once it comes to that rolling boil, we then are going to turn off the heat and let the eggs sit in that water. We're not going to cover it, we're just going to let the eggs sit there. They will continue cooking, and depending on how soft you want your yolks, you can leave it in that hot water for anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. Of course, 5 minutes you'd have a softer yolk, 15 minutes you'd have a harder yolk. I now have a rolling boil and I set my timer for 3 minutes. We're down to 2.39 and we'll let that go. We'll come back, turn off the heat, and I'm going to let my eggs stay in the water for about 15 minutes because I do want a harder yolk. One of the things that, you, that we should not have to worry about is what is called exploding eggs. And the reason why is because we're starting the eggs in cold water. The eggshells are very porous, so therefore slowly coming up to heat allows a lot of the air that's trapped inside of the shell to come out, so you do, you do not get that explosion. And so far we've only got about another 18 seconds to go and no explosions in this water. After we go through this 15 minute bath for the eggs with no heat, we're going to then move them to a bowl with some cold water and ice and that's going to allow the eggs to cool down. What's happening is that while the eggs are hot, they've expanded inside that shell. Once they cool down, they'll deflate somewhat and it'll make it easier to deshell them. My eggs only have a few more seconds to sit in the bath, but I want you to notice that I don't have any egg explosions in there. So, so far that technique did work for these six eggs. That's my timer. Time to pull these out. I have my water bath and I'm going to take them out with this handy dandy little strainer and get them into that ice bath. Now that I have them in the ice bath, I just let them sit there till they cool off and I can handle them and peel them. 
And we'll be back with that, and I'll show you what my eggs look like inside. My eggs have cooled, and now we're going to go test them and see if they're perfect. Remove the shells. And these are coming off fairly easy. And the biggest test is when we cut into them We'll go cut down the long grain and we'll have a look. Perfect. Also notice that there's none of that grayish green looking outer cover to that yolk. Perfectly yellow eggs. I'll put my yolks here. Now these are ready to make whatever treats you want to make with our hard boiled egg. Deviled eggs come to mind. Deviled eggs can be made for holidays such as Easter. They're also very good for backyard barbecues. They're just all in all a general good appetizer. Let me do one more just to make sure that all of them are perfect. When you're peeling, there is a membrane, and if you can get that membrane loose, it just comes right off. We'll get all that shell off of that egg. We have another one, perfect. Let's see what happens when we cut. Once again, another perfect egg. Perfect boiled eggs. I want to thank Noel Carter and NoelCarterFoods.com for this process for making perfect eggs. I'm going to put a link to her recipe in my description below so you all can all see exactly how to make perfect hard-boiled eggs. This is Sylvie Curry, Lady of Q, and I want to thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, share, tell a friend. Come on back.